We're making wraps. Turn this one on and look at this. The whole thing is just flaking off. Whoa. While that's warming up, let's grab our ingredients. Our chopping board here. We're gonna get some spring greens. You just need the small one, that'll be fine. It's the first video I'm putting up with our new grill and I'm excited because it seems to just make everything better. Need some cheese, of course. And we're also gonna grab some mushrooms and some kidney beans. Let's start chopping this bad boy up. This is gonna need a little bit of wash. Cool, we'll roll them up. I'm gonna cut them once this way and then we're gonna do another line through them as well because you don't want them too long because then they kind of get stuck and they'll be hanging out in a bite, so. And they'll be hanging out in a bite, so. And just quickly chop into them like this to make them a little bit easier to eat. Lovely. Let's stick our pan on so it can start warming up. Let's add a bit of coconut oil to the pan. So I should put the mushrooms in first. Forgot about that. I'm gonna have to balance it with cooking this stuff as well, but I think I have the skills. This is gonna be some next level multitasking. So yeah, with these tins of mushrooms, just give them a good squeeze because they've got quite a lot of water in them. Tea is on. Let's get a little mug. Ta da! Grab some soy milk. Lovely. So let's add in the mushrooms. Open them up. I think something just broke off. Okay, I have no idea where that came from. Get rid of that kidney bean juice. You see these kidney beans? You see how soft they are? That's just what you want. Mm. Oh, these are so good. It's definitely worth chopping around until you find good kidney beans. There's such a big difference in how nice they taste. You really can't tell whether it's gonna be the expensive ones or the cheap ones. Like these are pretty much the cheapest kidney beans you can buy and they're the nicest. Now we're starting to get the first bits of browning. We're gonna add in all of our greens. There are quite a lot of greens. So I actually listened to a really interesting podcast with a guy called Joel Salison the other day talking about how people can improve their microbiome so that they get sick less and you know how important it is to put stress on your system. Apparently not been sick for like 20 years or something. He's in his 60s now. But he says one of the things he does is he drinks from this cow trough. He'll just drink the, you know, the water full of like cow saliva and all dirt and stuff. And he, he seems to think that that's been one of the things that's helped him stay healthy. So don't be afraid to eat a little bit of dirt. If you're just trying to avoid anything dirty, any contact with people, then what you're doing is you're actually building yourself an incredibly weak immune system. And you wanna be doing the opposite. You wanna be strengthening it. In fact, earlier I actually noticed ah, it's hot. a little bit of dirt on this mushroom and I'm gonna leave that in there. I'll have it now. Mmm. Extra crunchy. You also get a lot of B12 from soil apparently. I get it from the mushrooms. Yeah sometimes they've got bits of dirt on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. But it never, it never feels, never. Oh yeah, tea. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water because it stops the greens from drying out. It means they stay a bit more tender. Stick in our beans. Also add some sauce. We've got this Naga chili sauce that we got with the approved food delivery. And just add a little bit of that. Get some, give it some spice. Right, let's get everything else ready. So we're gonna season this a little bit. Soy sauce and some white wine vinegar to give it a bit more of a kick. Actually, no, let's go lemon juice actually. And let's add a bit more chili as well. So now we've got rid of the liquid. Let's take this off the heat. Let's turn on the George Foreman. This is how I do the wraps. I don't know if this is the best way, but fold it up there, over there, and then get it as tight in as possible. Ah, just slowly opens. I know I probably should have looked up before this if there's a better way to do it so it doesn't open like that. quickly close this without closing it on myself. Nailed it. Squash it down a bit. Cool. Let's quickly make a few more. Nice. Let's see how these are doing. Damn, they look good. So let's stick these bad boys in. 